to the channel and day number four of brewski holiday brewskis christmas brewskis whatever you'd like to call them we got 12 brewskis of christmas here that we're doing here on the channel in 2022 and this one here is shock top twisted pretzel typically something you probably don't expect on the channel shock top although i don't just do craft beer i do all types of stuff um it's been a long, long time since I've had a shock top and the twisted pretzel. This is the only reason I picked this up is because I've actually had people tell me this twisted pretzel beer was actually pretty good. Um, so this year I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Now, what is the ABV on this? Not listed and I forgot to, oh, 5%, right up there in the corner. 5% alcohol by volume. So you got the typical shock top logo there right little uh, mohawk guy on there mohawk um, pretzel in this case and i get these guys are owned by uh, abm bev and a lot of people um hate on them but at the end of the day it looks like a pretty good beer to me at least what i've heard i've heard it's a pretty good beer so i'm pretty excited to actually pick this one i uh, pick this one up honestly so i'm gonna crack it open let me grab the bottle opener here I'm going to crack it open, dump it in my holiday-themed glass here, and um, see what it's all about. So, Shock Top is pro it's probably a twist-off, honestly. I'm going to get a pour on it and um, see what it's all about. See if we can produce some type of head on top of this thing. So, it actually just has kind of an off-white... Whoa. I already smell pretzels. That's crazy. I oh, I love me some pretzels here in the bar. All right, so I'll set that there with Mr. Grinch. So before I get a, a, an official nose on it, let's look. It looks like a tea. Just looks like tea in the glass, really. Come across a bit darker there um, on camera, but it's just a tea, tea color to it. Uh, now, no head. That head did not stick around at all. It wanted to get out of here, so yeah, not much to look at as far as that goes. But I got to get a nose on it because I'm already getting tons of pretzel. Wow. So, so it tastes like it, 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 the aroma. The nose is telling me pretzel. But what I wasn't expecting is I get this buttery popcorn. That is nuts. I get like a buttery popcorn pretzel. And this is a spin on their wheat ale, I think. Their Belgian style wheat ale. Yeah, Belgian style wheat ale. Uh, with spices and caramel malt. I don't get a lot of caramel in the nose here. But one thing I can already tell you 100%, they nailed, they nailed that pretzel. Uh, now the bonus is a bit of that, that buttery popcorn. It smells so good. Um, surprisingly smells really good. Now, uh, I guess one other thing I would say might have a little bit of a breadiness to it, but uh, let's get a drink on this thing. It's five percent. You're definitely lighter side drinking on the lighter side. Moderate, moderately carbonated. So very light, thin, watery body. I do definitely get like a like a pretzeliness to it. There's a bit more, um, in the nose, I didn't really pick up any caramel, really. Uh, in the actual taste, there's just a mild hint of a caramel. Um, you get the pretzeliness. It's crazy, as I'm tipping it up to take a drink, my nose really gets in the glass again. I really pick up that, that like buttery, buttery popcorn.
but that is not in the taste. I don't pick up anything like that in the taste. Uh, just super thin pretzeliness to it. Uh, I think what would make this a bit better uh, is if there is a little bit more of a saltiness. Uh, there's no, I don't pick up any saltiness. But if there was a, like a saltiness in the taste, uh, that would be actually, um, it would actually kick it up a notch. So is it as good as some of the people told me? Not really to me. Uh, but is it better than anticipated? It's probably about what I expected. I actually don't hate it. I actually could probably drink this um, a bit more than some of the, uh, I'm going to be really honest, and some of the winter warmers that are out there. I believe they only released this in the wintertime, maybe. I don't know. Um, I thought it was a seasonal. It was at the end cap in the store with the seasonal stuff, so I, I was assuming it was a seasonal beer. All right, so I'm going to score for what it is. I'm going to give it about a 3.75. Uh, here's why, because I like pretzels, and I do get some pretzels. It says pretzel, twisted pretzel. I do get a little bit of pretzel in the taste. All right, check. Um, the nose is just amazing. Like, this smells pretty good. Um, to me, nose-wise, aroma, um, I get the pretzel, but I wasn't expecting that uh, buttery, to me, buttery popcorn. Um, and that's a bonus there, too, right there. That's bonus points for that. I mean, it smells better than it tastes. Like a lot of peanut butter beers, right? They smell better than they actually taste. Um, 3.75, I am pleasantly surprised with this. It's not mind-blowing, right? But it's it's pretty good, really. For Shock Top, uh, and I actually like a couple of the Shock Top beers. Maybe I like a white one or something, like a white L or something like that, Belgian L or something like that, I don't know. Whatever, that's, that wasn't too bad if I remember correctly. Um, but this one here, yeah, this is, this is actually worth trying out. Would I buy a six-pack? There's no way I would buy a six-pack of this. I was able to actually get this in a build-your-own six-pack. Um, at the Kroger store, actually, um, picked up some shelfy stuff and threw this in there. Uh, so that route, picking up one, maybe I could do another one with like a buddy just to like say, hey man, you smell this? This is crazy. Um, outside of that, it's not something I could do a six pack of. There's just no way. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, it's, it's rather enjoyable, you know, uh, for this time of the year, for like every once in a while. Super light, easy drinking. Not offensive uh, by any means. Now that buttery popcorn, if that would have carried over to the taste, that might have been a bit weird. I drank some uh, vodka that was like buttery popcorn vodka. And um, I mean, it's vodka, right? And uh, that was kind of weird. Uh, but this definitely had that the nose of that type of drink. So anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media. I uh, hope you're enjoying the reviews this year, and um, be sure to tune in to number five. Thanks for watching.